Hello everybody, I'm Vortac. Happy Monday and welcome back to Smooth Operators. It's episode 8. And I'm finally excited to be back in Smooth Operators. Not that I don't enjoy the game, but as you know, if you've been following the series, I've been struggling a whole lot with this freaking game. So I've been doing a little bit of work off camera. You might notice a subtle change. I've moved the reflection insurance building that was here over to here. Now, I'm going to explain that change in just a second, but first let me turn on the speed here. We'll go, eh, not all the way up, but about there. So, I have $6,000 sitting here, and I'm going to use this empty space to put a relax room. That's like the last room I haven't built yet. And then in this episode, after we put the relax room, we are going to hire a project manager, which will allow us to upgrade buildings and things like that. So, why, aside from emptying this space, did I move this building here? Well, it's very simple. Once you hire a manager, they only help out surrounding buildings. So, any building basically touching the one the manager's in or directly diagonal to it, those are the ones the manager goes to. So if we put three more reflection insurance buildings here, then the manager will be able to help out those surrounding buildings. But because the manager uh, couldn't get into here, I checked out, if you click on the building itself, you can see how much revenue that building has made, I guess in its lifetime. Yeah, here's today, here is total. And that building was making significantly less than all the other buildings around it that had inbound and outbound agents working in it. So I decided to move it and we have a lot more, uh, we've improved a lot. That number's gone up. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it helped out a ton. Uh, the other thing I did is I fired one of the janitors, which you can see is not like the coolest thing to do because we have some garbage building up in some of these rooms that he just cannot get to in his short, short shift. But I did hire a handyman, and after I hired the handyman and he fixed all the cracks, uh, all their moods went up, and they've been a lot more efficient ever since. So, good, good things. I thought for sure I'd have to, like, redo the entire save file to salvage this, but I think we're okay now. Uh, we have almost $8,000 to spend, so we can definitely do some stuff. Hire a project manager, get this relax room in, but first, let's see what the end of this day uh, ended up giving us. Aha! I've been seeing this number over $1,000 a couple times now, so we're still losing a significant amount of inbound calls. Outbound's doing a little bit better, and back office could be better. I could hire another back office person, perhaps. So, not bad, not bad. I'm... I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm really reluctant to make any more reflection insurance buildings. Six should be enough. And we even have a couple more empty seats I could fill up here if we need to. So I'm gonna say for now we have enough employees. I hired a coach if you did, if you uh, saw that little cheerleader, per cheerleader person going from room to room. Uh, she's just there to help keep a positive mood. Meanwhile, the manager comes around and yells at the person who she just cheered on. So it's a nice, happy balance. Overall, I think we have some more productive workers. Let's get that relax room going right now. So we're going to put that... Recreation. Relax room. That's why it's not the relaxing room or the re relaxation room. It's just called the relax room. And it's right above the bathroom. I wanted to keep some of these buildings put in certain columns. You can kind of see what I'm doing there. TGIF. Installed recreational facilities and was awarded $750. Perfect. More than enough to hire our first project manager right here. So, oops, did I click project manager? Yes. The project manager are working hard. I shouldn't say managers. Are working hard to... Oh, manager. Managers are working hard on unlocking things that will... Okay. <laughs> Improve the performance of your business, allowing you to educate workers and upgrade buildings. Educate workers is where I'm at right now. I want to educate my workers because that's going to help the current staff I have become more efficient instead of, you know, hiring new ones. I may have to give them all raises, but I still think that's better than building additional buildings, constructing additional pylons, if you will. Uh, so let's put him there. And now, if I'm not mistaken, we've unlocked some options. Let's go in and see what we can do now. So, hmm, these accessories are locked. The, we can't unlock the flow tube or the teleport yet. Huh. Well, supposedly the project manager is supposed to help out with that. But I guess that achievement or unlock is yet to come. Maybe once I get an account manager, another client perhaps. Uh, it seems that unlocking things in this game is all about just making everything you can make. So... Cool. Now, my next, the next thing on my agenda 
is probably going to be getting another room for these guys, the janitors and the handyman and stuff, because I have, I need to keep my two uh, techs, the, the ones that fix the computers, because having two is barely enough right now, but I need another janitor. So eventually here, very soon, I'm going to add another one of these rooms so I can get my second janitor, perhaps maybe on this side of the building. I'm not sure. I'm kind of saving this space right here for something. So <laughs> we'll just have to see how it goes. Just looking at the stats for day 29, uh, back office is not doing very well. I'm, I'm pretty concerned. They're losing most of their, of their uh, workload. So, I think I'm gonna need another back office agent. Let's let's check out. Let's save and check out how many back office people we have. I go to my employees, set up a filter, and I will just keep back office agent. There we go. We have three. And uh, they make us some decent money. And let's see, this one's mood isn't that great. Can I see his uh, stats? No, I cannot. And their moods, none of their moods are that fantastic. Both, both of these guys are named Herschel. That's <laughs> Herschel, Herschel and Hugh. That sounds like a, a law firm of some kind. All right, let's get ourselves a new back office agent because that was just pathetic. Uh, okay, we'll go to, whoa. Uh, got my cash back. Earned forty thousand dollars total. I've been awarded fifteen hundred dollars. Nice, very nice. Okay, cool. No reason not to hire a back office agent. So let's get operation staff. And oh, we have one more desk available for him. So I feel like that's appropriate. Now I know a couple of you were saying, hey, you should reschedule these guys and make it so some of them come in at different times, and that way your elevators aren't clogging up during the middle of the day when people are rushing around. Now that's a good idea, but when you reschedule people, you have to go into every single employee and change their schedule manually, and it just seems like a lot of work, especially because I keep adding employees and I have to manage all their schedules. I have to make sure there are uh, techs here to fix their computers when they break on the fly. It's just a huge mess. I'd rather just try to have the game balance out the schedule for me. It seems to be doing okay at that. And I'm just going to leave that for now. I appreciate the suggestion, though, to those of you who have said that. I know it's coming a couple times now. But I'm going to keep that the way it is. So, all right. We have uh, we have some cracks in the wall here and some broken computers. I'm hoping these guys can get to work here in just a sec. Uh, I see the handyman taking care of the cracks. So, good, good, good. We're off to an okay start. I'm hoping for today that the back office gets a little more... Or loses less of its workload. It's That's been a big problem, apparently. Now, again, the project manager didn't do a whole lot for us, did he? I'm, I'm looking, let's see, Jonathan, next unlock in less than two days, approximately two days. Hmm, all right. Woohoo, work! <laughs> this guy is uh, an optimist, it seems. Sure is dirty in here. Damn it, that's not good. All right. Well, maybe it's time we add a fourth floor and get ourselves a, another bit of the janitorial staff taken care of. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Again, I wanted to save this space over here for something, but maybe another janitor wouldn't be so bad. You can tell my OCD is 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 leaking into this game as it would in Rising World or Minecraft. I'm I'm really OCD about the way that my buildings are laid out. So. Hiring more janitors means making another one of these buildings and putting it somewhere where it may not look that great And it's driving me nuts, but I really shouldn't think about that. I, I can move buildings really easily It costs a little bit. I, I don't think you get your full money back when you sit when you deconstruct a building, but uh, Either way, it's not that hard to move them. Hmm Let's do it. Let's because their moods are really important to their success. So let's go into buildings and get ourselves We should probably slow down when we do stuff like this Get ourselves another, where is it? Service building, service office, okay. We're gonna do a fourth floor. Is that a good idea? Can the janitors get there? What if we put it up here on top of the relax room? Well, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. They have to travel like a long way to get over here. Uh, all right, I'm overthinking it. That's what I'm doing. We'll grab ourselves another janitor. Let's see, throw him right there. And while we're at it, why not another... Can we do another IT person? I mean, I, we're, it's getting kind of costly now just to fix stuff, but... Let's do it. I'm doing this because they are... Their computers are breaking faster than they're getting repaired, so... You got an achievement! 15 buildings, worth a thousand dollars. Hey! Got some money back, got an achievement. 
four story building, five hundred dollars. That's fifteen hundred bucks back. That's like a rebate. That's awesome. The stats for the day are here, and it looks like back office didn't do too bad. I mean, they're still losing about, I don't know, roughly half their workload, but I'm thinking moods might be a little bit better. Again, less than, or approximately two days, and we get an unlock from that project manager. So that could be training, and training could be good. I'm not going to hire any more of these reflection insurance agents. We should have enough. I want a new client. I want a new client so bad. I, I want to know what that side of the game is when you're managing all these different clients and, you know, you make a giant... How many floors can we go? There's like seven here, but I think we can go even higher. Yeah, we can... Jeez. Can you imagine having this many floors? 20? Like, it's 30? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's the side of the game I want to see. I want to, I want to get us there. I don't know if I can get us there, but we'll see. This is kind of like, if you've ever played Adventure, Capitali Adventure Capitalist or Cookie Clicker, it's kind of like that, where you just keep hiring things, you just keep making more and more money, and just growing this giant monopoly. And that's kind of how this game feels, but with a little more of a challenge. Those games are kind of just clicking stupid games. Your project managers has now unlocked the accessory flowers. What? Flowers? Accessory. Flowers can be placed in sanitary food or recreational facilities. They increase the mood of the facility visitors. Wow, so this guy's sitting in here researching. I'm paying this guy to research. What kind of fantastic idea could I do to make, you know, people happier at my company? I got it. Flowers. I will invent flowers. Oh, we already we have flowers invented? All right, let's just put them everywhere. Like that's what I'm paying this guy for. All right, I'm put some I put a flower near the toilet. Uh, I feel like a water cooler should go by the relax room, but let's uh, screw it. Let's put some flowers. There we go. Some more flowers there. This is like a colossal waste of money. <laughs> Whatever. There we go. I've improved the mood of the already relaxed. This is the hallway to the relaxing room. This isn't even... Whatever. Wow. I'm paying people to research flowers. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today in Smooth Operators. I think we got a lot done. Uh, I, I had a lot of fun for once, not for once, but I had a lot of fun for once in the sense that we're we're making money. We're, things are going good. I'm actually positive about Smooth Operators for once. So thank you so much. I wanted to quickly show you the HR reports that you missed. Uh, the janitor, when I fired him, I know where you live, douche. And uh, the inbound agent that just took a sick day, my neck is somehow upside down. I don't, I don't get it either, but I, I really, I had a chuckle when I saw this report for I Know Where You Live Douche. That's what the HR rep let them put down on their, uh, on their paperwork when they got fired, I guess. That's pretty cool. So there we go. Uh, in the next episode, I'm hoping that the freaking project guy researches something actually useful. And maybe we'll start to look into another client, if I dare. If I dare. We're, we're well over $1,000 now at the end of the episode. Usually I'm in the low hundreds, so that's good. All right, guys. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Leave your suggestions in the comments. As always, I'll see you next time. I, I'm the kind of person, if I'm playing a game, I want it to relate to my YouTube channel in some way. I used to blog about Animal Crossing. I might start doing that again. I don't know. It just depends on how long I'm interested in it. But if you have the game, let me know. And... Uh...